Well, we're getting to that time of year when the bass focus on bait. A lot of bass anglers know that fishing soft jerk baits in the fall is a great, great tactic. And we have in recent years some very different models out there. You've got your traditional straight tailed soft jerk bait. Um, we've had the paddle tail soft jerk bait for quite a while. But in the last decade or so, this ribbed type of swimmer, uh, this one's a rage swimmer, has become very, very popular as well. And today I wanna quickly go over when would maybe I pick each one of these, especially coming into this fall transition, late summer into early fall, and all the way you know, up until early winter gets here. So let's go ahead and start off with the differences between a straight tail and traditional paddle tail. So this particular lure I'm going to use most of the time with very two specific presentations, a skipping minnow presentation or almost dead sticking it where I just kind of leave it. I know I've got a high percentage area right by a dock, a lay down or something. I'll flip it out there and just let it do its thing and shimmy down very similar to a wacky rig. Okay and then I'll pop it once in a while on a slack line to just make this lure twitch just a little bit, kind of give it that lifelike kick, works really, really well. Now with the paddle tail, I will still use this the same way as the straight tailed soft jerk bait, but this one gives me the option. I can, you know, of course, swim it and slow roll it down along the bottom, but I really like to pick this one up when I've got water that's a little bit dirtier. Okay, it's not quite as clear. This is a very visual bait and I really like the clearer the better. Of course, works in dirty water and stained water, but I really like the straight tail and clear water. When I've got water very similar to here, like on the upper Mississippi, this is the one I'm gonna pick up. This tail gives me just a little bit more thump and the bass can pick it up a little bit easier with their lateral line. But between the two, I will fish them very similar in nature. Now, as far as this one here, okay, with these additional ribs, and a lot of these on the market, the ribs are cupped forward, okay, so it's grabbing water, so it's resisting when you pull it and swim it a little bit. This is one that I'm going to use more of a traditional search bait when I'm looking for fish. I've, I've got an area I want to fish, and I kind of want to figure out where they are at. I just love to slow roll this rage swimmer um, just either on the bottom and ticking the bottom or up higher in the water column. It's very easy to change the weights on it, but it's just a great, great search bait and you don't have to do a whole lot to it. You can still twitch it every once in a while, but even if you just want to give it on a straight retrieve, this is an excellent search bait. But as far as my fall conditions, I'm probably going to have these two on most of the time because they really get the job done. Like I said, clearer water, maybe a little bit more stained water when I go with the paddle tail. And hey, if you would like to watch a video that talks about that, that little twitch that I'll do and I'm dead sticking those soft jerk baits, go ahead and check this one out right here. And make sure to go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.